Invincibles. Rangers, Invincibles. Celtic fans can stop going on about that now. Well, they haven't really gone on about it. They've been going on about 10 in a row for the last 10 years. And that's done. Neymar. Neymar 10 in a row. Gone. Done. Anyway, enough cringy Scottish accents. Hey guys, Jamie here. Welcome back to another weekend vlog. And as you can tell by this lovely t-shirt that I'm wearing, which is um, sold to me by someone. Or not sold. Yeah, we got it from a friend. He was selling it. So, yeah. Anyway, um, today I'm going to be talking about... Um, Why am I looking at the window? Anyway, today we're going to be talking about uh, Liverpool, the Liverpool Man United match. Uh, my thoughts on Rangers season, and I just, I'm just going to touch on this quickly. The FA Cup finals just finished. I didn't see the game, but I saw the goal, and my God, if you haven't seen it, look it up. If you haven't seen it, I'm, I'm not sure if the highlights are up, but if they are, by the time this video goes up, look them up. Absolute screamer, screamer. Anyway, um. Yeah, Yuri Tielemans, he was like 25 yards out, right, for top quarter. And, yeah, if you're wondering what this is, it's my uh, Rangers 87 retro kit. Uh, we'll just put that there for now. Yeah, um, I actually do, this is, this is one of the reasons why I want to lose weight. This and the 1997 one that I have hanging up over there somewhere. So, yeah, I, I do want to fit into this at some point. I do want to lose enough weight to fit into this, because this is one of my favourite Rangers shirts of all time. So, yeah. Um... I just gotta drink some water. Yeah, this is a pretty big bottle, but yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, um, FA Cup final was a. I haven't seen it. I've seen Chelsea's new kit, and it is. LFC Gamer, if you're watching this, if you haven't seen Chelsea's kit, th th they were wearing it in the cup final, and I'll be honest, it's disgusting. It is. It's hideous. Seriously, you thought their one from like the 2019 20 season was bad? This one is another level. It looks... I mean, it looks like a training kit. It looks ridiculous. It looks absolutely ridiculous. And yeah, I got water in my shirt, but... Yeah, it's just water it'll dry in. Plus, you can't really see that, can you? Um. So yeah, anyway. um, Rangers unbeaten season. Uh, really... Couldn't be more proud of the team. We went from the third division... Back to the... Premier League. We spent two years... Like, we were in the third division. We won that quite easily. Got to the second division. Won that without losing it. Won that without losing the game, by the way. Got to the Scottish Cup semi-finals as well. Remember, Lee McCulloch was really good that year. He actually played centre-forward. I'm not really sure why he played striker, but... He scored a lot of goals. And one of, I think there was an absolute screamer who scored against someone. You know how many draws Rangers had that season? Three. Three draws. Three of them. In like, what, 40, what, 38, 40 matches? Three draws? That is ridiculous. And they finished 39 points. Yes, 39 points. Ahead of, who was it, Dunfermline were in second place or something? 2014-15 wasn't very good. We beat, we, we beat Hibs and Hearts once, but um, we did lose a... CIS Cup semi final to Celtic or the CIS Cup or the Lad Brooks Cup or Betford. I mean, what was it called in 2015? The Cadbury Mars Bar Cup or whatever? I don't know. It'll probably be called the KFC Cup next year for all we know. Like, seriously, why? Like, the League Cups, why do they even exist? Anyway, enough. Kind of got off topic there. Enough League Cup rants. Celtic did beat us in the Cup that year. Um. We didn't really do much in 2014 15 apart from losing the playoff final and start a fight with Motherwell players. And get smacked about the place by Hearts and Hibs. And then the next year, we signed we signed James Tavernier, who's still there. We signed Martin Waghorn, who was good for us that year, but didn't really do much in the in the top flight. Um who else did we sign? Sorry about that. Interrupted. Uh, anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, um, yeah, Rangers unbeaten season in 2013, four, uh, not 2014. I was on to 2015-16. 2015-16, we um, signed James Tavernier and Martin Waghorn. Kenny Miller came back the year before and scored a few goals. Chris Boyd came back and uh, 
I can't, did he even score? <laughs> I mean, he was getting on about Chris Boyd, but... Yeah, I mean... Chris Boyd's one of my favourite Ranger strikers ever. Love that man. And this season in particular, with all his smiling... He's been absolutely hilarious. Like, anyone that's seen Chris Boyd on Sky Sports this year will know that he's absolutely hilarious. And apparently that, that idiot Andy Walker is getting banned from Sky Sports. So, yeah. Even more good news. Now all that's left is Chris Sutton to get banned. And it'll be the best year ever. Like, seriously, someone please ban... I cannot stick... I could not... I can barely stick two minutes of Chris Sutton. Let alone two hours. Literally, how anyone even... Like, how anyone... Can, how they can even stick that man on TV? All he does is start arguments. Literally, all he does is just start arguments and say ridiculous things. He rated Steven Gerrard's first season at Rangers a 4 out of 10. Second in the league, first old... Beat Celtic twice at home, got to the Europa League group stage, and he gives it a 4 out of 10. And they wonder why they hate this man. Anyway, 2015-16, we won the championship. We won the uh, Scottish championship quite easily. This is the Sc this is the Scottish or first division, as as it was called. We didn't actually some we didn't get promoted from the League One back to the SPL and won it. No, that would have been ridiculous. We um we got to the Scottish Championship, which is this which is a league below the Scottish Premier League, and won that quite easily. We beat. I remember one of my favorite games from from that year. I was actually there. It was the one 0 against Hibs, when Tavernier scored a screamer of a freak. It was like literally like the corner of the box where you cross it in. He shot it from there and it went in off the bar. And then we beat Hibs six two at their ground that that year. Um, I think in like pre season it was in the Petrofac Cup or whatever whatever it was called. And then we beat them four one at Ibrox. Um. Then there was a cup final. Let's just not talk about that. But my favorite match from that year, without a doubt. Is when we beat Celtic in the semi final. Barry Mackay will forever have a place in my heart for that goal. That screamer of a goal in extra time. Absolute screamer. And Kenny Miller scored that. And Kenny Miller scored that day as well, but let's be honest, when's the last time he didn't score against Celtic? Like literally, if you if you see Kenny Miller on the pitch against Celtic, it's basically guaranteed that he's scoring a goal. I mean, can anyone argue with that? Like you could stick him on the pitch with like, you could amputate his legs, cut off his arms, stick him on the pitch against Celtic, and he would still end up scoring a goal. Like, since he came back to Rangers, he scored, what, like, 11 times against Celtic? Yeah, I, I love Kenny Miller. He's, he's one of my favourites. He scored a load of goals against Celtic. He scored a winner in a cup final in 2010. Anyway, um, yeah, 2015-16 was good. 2016-17, nothing happened that year, so... Don't really want to talk. Literally nothing. Apart from Clint Hill's goal against Celtic and losing a semi-final, nothing happened that year. Literally nothing. 2017-18 wasn't much better. We had one of our most embarrassing European defeats of all time. A um, Losing 2-0 to Progress Nieder Cozen or whatever the frig that team's called. I mean, what's more embarrassing, losing to them or West Ham losing to the same team? Twice in two years. Um, yeah, 2017 18 wasn't really much better. It, I literally cannot remember. Apart from losing to Celtic in the Scottish Cup again, I cannot remember a thing that happened that year. 2018 19 was pretty good. We we signed uh, Stephen Gerrard. Also, 2016 17 and 2017 18, we had Graham Murray and Pedro Caixinha as managers. Both of them absolutely useless. Warburton wasn't very good in the in the in his first season back in the in the league, but to be honest, were people seriously expecting Rangers to just automatically win the league in the first just because it's Rangers, they just expected them to win the league in the first season back? Like really? I mean, they literally just got promoted. And their team wasn't really that good. Did they just expect them to win the league? I mean, we had Joe Dodu Mart Russell Mart Russell Martin. Why did we sign him? I mean, we had Daniel Candias. He was pretty good. I liked him. There was a lot of other good players. Um, he was good. G uh, Josh Windass. I thought he. I thought he was like the first season. He didn't really do much, but the second season, I thought he was alright. I liked him. I mean, he caught a her, so he looked a bit less like a girl. 
And in 2018-19, we beat Celtic twice. We signed Stephen Gerrard, which... Imagine being a Rangers fan that supports Man United and seeing that news. You'd be like... It would be mixed feelings, to be honest. Um, yeah, um... Signed Gerrard as, as a manager, not as a player. Uh, we beat Celtic twice. We that, that was our first league victory against them in six years. Six years it took us to beat them at home. Well, not, not, not took us. We had to wait. And it was actually Ryan Jack that scored the winner. I'm going to take more water. Then we had a decent run in the Europa League. Didn't get to the group stage, unfortunately. We, uh, well, well, no, no. I mean, didn't get past the group stage, unfortunately. We did win 3 1 against Rapid Vienna at Ibrox, so that's the only thing I can really remember doing. Apart from the last match, the last match again, who was it? Spartak Moscow? That match was nuts. I think it ended 4 3 or something. And it was 3 2 at half time. So, yeah, and Candeus had a goal ruled out for offside, which wasn't offside. I still remember watching that match live. And then, uh, next season, first win at Parkhead since 2010 when Kenny Miller scored, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's Kenny Miller. I don't even need to say that. He always scores against Celtic. And uh, Kyle Lafferty, well, was it Kyle Lafferty or was it a Glenn Leuven's own goal? Anyway, last time we won at Celtic Park before 2019 was 2010. 2010. And let me say, I was 14 years old the last time we won the league. I, 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 at least you'll probably remember this, when Rangers played Kilmarnock. On the last day in 2011, they were like 3 0 up in like seven minutes or something. Um, so, yeah, uh, and then 2019 20, we won. I mean, we got to the Betfred Cup final. I can still remember getting. I still think we were robbed in that match because they scored a goal. Three of them were offside and they and they saved the penalty. But Craig, Craig Gordon was off his line. I nearly said Craig Thompson for some reason. He's a referee. What am I on about? Yeah, I, yeah I'm still mad about their Cup final. But thankfully, a few weeks later, we got our revenge by beating them two one at Celtic Park and playing them and playing them out of their own stadium. We dominated that game, and I, I still remember Ryan Kent's gun celebration thing that he. I don't know what that meant, but yeah. And then the Braga comeback is probably apart from the winner park here. The Braga the the Braga comeback is probably my favorite moment of that season. I mean, we were two 0 down with what twenty five minutes left, and then Haji. Who, by the way, is Georg, you know, Georg Haji, the legendary Romanian footballer? Yeah, his son plays for Rangers. Giannis Haji, he scored twice that night, and both of them were really good. Uh, and Joe Aribo scored probably one of my favourite goals ever. Like, the noise that night was unbelievable. Brilliant night. That 3 2 comeback against Braga was brilliant. We looked dead, and then we just scored three goals in 15 minutes. And then went to their place, beat them 1 0, went 3 4 2 in aggregate. And then we fell apart after Christmas. Celtic. Celtic, well, won the league. Yeah, they didn't win the league. They literally had it handed to them. So it wasn't really nine in a row. It wasn't really nine. In, it wasn't even ten in a row. It was more eight and a half in a row. Then this season, they thought they were going to get their ten in a row. And then they collapsed. <laughs> and then they collapsed. Yeah, man, did they collapse. Like, we beat them. Like, they played us, what? Four ta five times, we beat them four times. 2-0 at Parkhead, 1-0 at Ibrox, 1-0 at Parkhead, 2-0 at Ibrox, 4-1 at Ibrox. They scored more goals against them, they scored more own goals for Rangers than they did, well, they scored as many own goals for their opponents than they scored goals themselves in Old Firm Derby's. That's how bad Celtic have been this year. I mean, they lost to Ross County twice without scoring. The Linfield could beat Ross County. Hell, Arsenal could beat Ross County. And yeah, and I know that, I know that's probably an exaggeration, but have you seen Arsenal this year? Have you seen Arsenal? Honestly, Celtic could probably beat that Arsenal team, to be honest. And they can't beat Ross County, so yeah, that's saying something. Um, but yeah, Rangers. As of today, as of today, I can't believe I'm saying this, Invincibles, unbeaten league season. And we went, we played 13 matches in the Europa League, we lost one of them. And that was when we got knocked out by Slavia Prague with the Glenn Kamara incident. I don't, I, I don't want to go into that too much because 
to be honest, when I saw them get smashed by Arsenal, that was one of my favourite moments of the season. I mean, I, I'm, I and speaking of Arsenal, Arteta. Why is he still there? <laughs> Honestly, if that man was manager of a chippy, the, the thing would end up getting burned to the ground. That's how bad our, I, I do have fondness for Arteta mainly because he scored a goal that won the league for Rangers in like 20, 2003 or something. 2003, what am I on about? Anyway, um, yeah, re, yeah, that's my thoughts on Rangers these years, the last 10 years. It's been unbelievable. What a ride from the third division to, can you see this, Scottish champions, 2020-2021. 55 is here. And yeah, as you can see it, as it says here, we are the people. Uh, so yeah, um, anyway, I, I've rambled on about Rangers for 15 minutes. I'm just going to quickly touch on the Liverpool Man United game before this ends. And uh, yeah, um, yeah, so we beat Man United. Mr. Joss EJ, if you're watching this. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate, but I'm a Liverpool fan. I have to talk about this. So yeah, Liverpool Man United... United scored first. It was Fernandez's goal, or was it really his goal? Because I've seen the replay. I, 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 I don't think it was even going in before Nat Phillips deflected it in. But then Nat Phillips immediately made up for it with a great assist. I, th I think it was a shot that was going wide, but then Diogo, I think it was Diogo Jota flicked it in. Brilliant goal. And then the penalty. We got a penalty, which was a stone wall penalty, by the way, overturned. And I've heard Chelsea had a goal disallowed in the cup final. It wasn't offside either. Honestly. VAR. Seriously. VAR. Can you do us all a favour and do one? Seriously. Do one. Get out of here. You're you're ruining football. Right, well. Maybe it's not VAR. Maybe it's maybe it's the idiots that are running VAR. that have to. Every decision is like. Oh. Someone's arm looks like it's in an offside position. Let's disallow the goal. Or. Oh. Someone. Oh, someone tapped someone on the shoulder outside the penalty box. Penalty. It's a joke. And then, uh, but then we went up in front on half time, three for Mino. And then he scored again after half time to make it 3 1. Um, so, yeah, 3 1 up. Pretty much cruised for the whole second half. United didn't really have much. I mean, apart from the last 20 minutes, they had a few chances. Rashford scored one of them. And then Salah broke away in the 90th minute and sealed it. Just like he did last year against United when he broke away in injury time and scored. So yeah, we beat Man United. That's a big game. And we have a game in hand tomorrow against West Brom to uh, cut it to one point behind Chelsea. So yeah, anyway, that's this weekend vlog done, guys. I'm going to go and play my PSP. And yeah, see you next time. Invincibles, come on!